From the beginning, it was clear that the building showed strong similarities with the Voortrekken monument, which was built later and which was also Moedek's handiwork. The building was completed in 1938 and opened on the 15th of April 1938. The medical faculty came into being in 1943 and at a very early stage it became evident that the lack of study material was going to be a big problem. The library also appointed its first full-time bookbinder when Mr. Willy Porter started as a 17-year-old for a salary of £9. This would be a long and happy relationship of 43 years which ended when he retired in 1986. My restriction to Westphalia reminded me of the work which I had done 40 years earlier at Lulekop in the vicinity of Palaborwa. My investment in this expedition proved itself when enough phosphates and copper to last this country for the next century were discovered there. The extent of my income, my age and my health made me aware that such a lot of money could benefit many people and in 1949 I dedicated my time to establish a trust. My wish that my end must be quick and without pain was granted when I went to rest the afternoon of the 21st of October 1952 where one of my faithful workers found me later. After the service in Pretoria I was cremated and the ashes were scattered on Westphalia. Some of my friends developed a wonderful green garden with 81 trees, one for every year of my life. And a rock in the garden, only the words Hans Merensky, 16th of March 1871 to the 21st of October 1952, were engraved. Afterwards, much was written about me and my works. To the people who really knew me, I was the gentleman who was painstakingly tidy on my person who liked entertaining and played tennis until I was 80 years old. But still, I remain to them an enigma who was really known by very few people, if any. Dr. F. Z. van der Merwe, a keen collector of music, who mostly targeted South African music, died on the 2nd of January 1969. In his will, he stipulates that his collection must be preserved as a whole. The collection later on became the property of the university and formed the basis of the large collection of music, which is today still one of the cornerstones of the special collections. 1998 became a very special year for the collection when Mimi Kurze, the famous soprano, donated her collection of scores, CDs and awards to the library. Later on, donations from Marita Napier and various other musicians also became part of this collection. Through the years, various efforts were made to organize and exhibit all my documentation and rock and seed samples. The fact that the house in which I lived my life was not suitable led to the construction of a new building on Westphalia, which today serves as the Hans Merensky Museum. The happy day arrived on the 12th of August 1969 when the firm of architects Lowe, Murray, Marquardt and Keen received instructions to design a new library. The construction for the new library started on the 17th of November 1971. The appointment of Professor E.D. Gerritz as Director of Library Services was the first step towards a deliberate turnabout. Immediately a new dynamics came into the organization. With the arrival of the computer era, the focus was now on computerization. A system of subject librarians was one of the most important renewals that was introduced. On the 26th of March 1976, the new building was inaugurated by the rector, Professor E. M. Hamann. In his speech, he said that the library ought to be the heart of the university's activities and that the library should play a key role. Show me a university's library and I know what the quality of its academic teaching and scientific research is. An echo of the words by Spruce in 1927. In an effort to steer away from the white coat culture, for years, white coats were issued to library staff. The ladies could now buy cream-coloured uniforms. A Biblikasi, the staff's in-house magazine, which would appear for the following 12 years and noted the weal and woes of the staff, as well as the history of the library, came out for the first time. 